everyone how are you all hope you all are very good i'm shweta and welcome to the maths class of standard 3 in today's video i'm just going to teach you a new chapter that is data handling and this is chapter number 13 okay this is video number 1 of this chapter okay children in this video we will learn about pictograph what is pictograph and information can be expressed by several different ways it can be presented in words symbols pictures or in writing if i will show you this then you can easily identify that ma'am is showing us banana else i can write here banana or i can also draw that banana or i can speak banana okay so here i have used four different ways first i have shown you the banana second here i have written the banana third here i have drawn the banana and the fourth way i spoken the word banana by these different words i have shared the information banana with you okay pictograph pictograph is a way in which we use to express the information through different pictures so here i have written when information is represented through pictures or symbols it is called pictograph okay i hope you all have written the definition of pictograph now here i have written some important fact about the pictograph any pictograph is divided into four parts okay a pictograph has four four major parts first one is title title tell us what the pictograph is about okay now the second part of the pictograph is label okay the label tell us what kind of data the pictograph is representing is shown there third one is pictures it tell us the given number of object and the fourth one is key it tell us the number each picture is equal to just pause this video and write these things in your maths notebook here i have made a pictograph okay and this pictograph is describing about the fruit light by the of class 3 okay i have taken a survey on class 3 students and here according to the information that i have received about the favorite fruit of them i have drawn a pictograph here now we will learn how to read the pictograph okay as you can see here i have written the title of this pictograph like favorite fruit means this pictograph contains the information about the favorite fruit of the student okay this is the second part is called the label okay he, this label describes us about the the fruits that are liked by the students okay now the third one is this picture this picture describes the information regarding the student how many people like oranges how many like bananas how many like guava okay now the fourth one is this one this is the key okay here it is written each smiley is equal to 3 students means if i have made here one smiley then this smiley means three student here this smiley means three student here this smiley means three student and this also means three student means each smiley represent three students okay so now how we can read out the pictograph like it is written oranges okay so here i have drawn the smiles how many student like oranges okay here three smiles are there but when each smile means three student apple is favorite fruit of these student okay so now, now if i will ask that how many students like oranges then what you have to do you have to check for the oranges in the label area you have to check for the oranges okay now here oranges is written okay now we have to find out that oranges are liked by how many people how many students so here 1 2 3 4 4 smiles are there but each smile means three students so we can 
only multiply this 4 by this 3. 4 smileys are there and each smiley means 3 students. So, we can just multiply this 4 by 3. Then we will get 12. Okay. Means oranges are liked by 12 students. Okay. Similarly like that apples. How many students like apples? So, here 3 smileys are there. But each smile means 3 students. So, what we have to do? We have to multiply these 3 smiles with this 3. So, we can get the information like 9. Okay? Apples are liked by 9 students. Now, the bananas. Bananas are liked by these people. Okay? How many smiles are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 smiles are there. So, we can just multiply 5 smiles means 5 students. No. Means we have to multiply this 5 by this 3. Then if we will multiply 5 by 3, then we will get 15 answer. Means but bananas are liked by 15 students. Okay. Now the fourth one is guava. How many students liked guava? 2 smiles are there. 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. Means 6 people, 6 students liked guava. Okay. Now this is the way to read the pictograph. Now we can also ask by reading this pictograph that which fruit is most favorite. So here we can see the most favorite fruit is banana because it is liked by 15 students. We can also ask the question like which is the least favorite fruit of students. So here we can see that the guavas are the least favorite fruit of the students because it is liked only by 6 students. Which is the second most favorite fruit of the student? So most favorite is banana. But second most favorite is oranges because it is liked by 12 students. And by observing the whole pictograph, we can also ask the question how many total number of the students there in all. Okay. So for that, what we have to do? We have to just add this 12 plus 9 plus 15 plus 6. 12 plus 9 plus 15 plus 6. Okay. So 12 plus 9 is equal to 21. 21 plus 15 plus 6. 21 plus 15 is equal to 36. 36 plus 6. 36 plus 6 is equal to 42. So we can write that there are total 42 students. I hope this is clear to you. Here I have drawn an another pictograph. Okay. Here in this pictograph we are just discussing about the weight of the student. As the title I have given weight of the students. Okay. Label is also given there and the pictures are also. But I have not given here any key. If the key is not given in the pictograph then we have to consider one picture as one. Okay. We will not multiply this to any number. Understood? So now here in the label I have written underweight, overweight and normal weight. So here we have categorized the students according to their weight. Okay. So the first question is number of the students who are underweight. We have to find out that how many students are underweight. So we will just check that where underweight is written. Here underweight is written. So we have to check here. Okay. So, so here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 students are underweight. So we can easily write here 6. Now the second question is number of the students who are overweight. Okay. Now here we have to look that where I have written, where we have written overweight. So here is the overweight and these are the people that are overweight. So we have to just count 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 students are 
overweight. So we can hear write four. Now the third one is third question is number of the students who are normal weight. Okay. Now here you can see I have written normal weight and here I have drawn the pictures of that. I have drawn the symbols. So we have to just count this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So here 10 students are normal weight. Okay. Now the last question is total number of students. Here we have to calculate the total number of students. So as you can see here I have drawn 6 smileys. Here 4 and here 10. So if we will add 6 plus 4 plus 10. That is equal to 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. Plus 10 is equal to 20. So here we can write total number of students are 20. Okay. Now I think this is very much clear to you. How to read the pictograph. So just pause this video and write these examples in your maths book. Now the same pictograph I am taking but here I am just giving key. Okay. Key 1 smiley is equal to 2 students. Okay. So here key also I have given. Means 1 smiley is equal to 2 students. So if we have to find out right like that then what we have to do? Number of students who are underweight. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6. But each smile is equal to 2 students. Then we have to multiply it by 2. 6 multiplied by 2 is equal to 12. So here we can write 12. Okay. Now number of students who are overweight. Here we can find out 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 are there. But we have to multiply it by 2. Why? Because each smile is equal to 2 students. It is given in the key. So we can write 4 to the 8. Okay. Now the third one is normal weight. Number of students who are normal weight. So here again we have to count. The smileys are 10 in number. But we have to multiply it by 2. Because each smiley is equal to 2 students. So 10 multiplied by 2 is equal to 20. Okay. And at last. Total number of students is equal to here 12, 8, 20. And if we will add 12, 8 and 20, then 12 plus 8 plus 20 is equal to 40. So here we can write 40. I think this is also clear. Write this example again in your maths notebook.